happy to be here. Namaste to everybody. Namaskaram. Uh, and Dr. Nandi, and Dr. Nandi, thank you so much for inviting us here this evening. I was told by Dr. Nandi tonight was going to be a, a seminar on affordable housing. <laughs> That's all we need, affordable housing. <laughs> you are I'm affordable very excited house. to be here. I first came to this home 21 years ago. You're when good Dr. Family. Nandi did a fundraiser. The mayor of Glencoe. Both Dr. Nandi, so I was the mayor of Glencoe, and they did a fundraiser for me when I ran for county executive in Nassau County, and it's been a long friendship. Thank and, you. Uh, I'm so God. happy to see that your daughters are so successful <laughs> and doing so well. And uh, one is married already with a young baby, congratulations. And one has a boyfriend, so we're <laughs> doing, doing a background check on that. <laughs> okay. And I'm so excited to see Jennifer Raj Kumar tonight as well. And she's been referred to several times tonight as the future, which kind of makes me like the past. <laughs> 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 happy to have you here. It's really a great honor for us to be here. And uh, Sanjay Chakrabadi, thank you so much for being here as well. I'm, I guess you travel around with her a lot. No, 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 no. Very rarely. <laughs> so on behalf, I can say this. On behalf of the people of the United States of America, I want to present you with this citation and thank you so much for joining us and so, doing such a wonderful job for the Bengali community. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste, everybody. It's so great to be here with my family and at the home of Dr. Nandi and his family. And you know, Dr. Nandi is an incredible, unique individual. <laughs> he has known you know, some of the greats. He supported. Uh, our great congressman, Tom Swazi, Steve Israel, um, Bill Clinton, the list goes on and on. And I'm honored to be on that list. Thank you. you <laughs> Jennifer is a unique person. <laughs> and truly, our, our stories are so similar. You know, my parents, when they came here from India, I don't think they ever would have imagined that I would be standing here today as the first Indian woman elected in this state. But definitely not the last one, right? Not the last one. Uh, I see so much upcoming talent. And, but Dr. Nandi was here for decades, empowering our community, making sure that we were heard at that table of power long before I came along. So I'm truly honored to call him a friend. And when I think of his last name, Nandi, you know, I think of actual Nandi as the vehicle of, of, of powerful people. So Dr. Nandi, when I see it on my phone, I say, this is somebody who makes things happen in the world. So thank you. Okay, and now we're all here to honor an incredible actress, Rita Parna Sen Gupta. But before I do that, okay, and it is an honor for the first Indian woman elected in this state to get to honor this incredible, world-famous actress is a true honor for me. But I want to say that I'm honored to be standing here with the great Congressman Tom Swazi to once again share a statement. Because this is someone who exemplifies courage, political courage who puts it all on the line if he believes it's the right thing to do. And let me tell you, that's very rare to find. Very rare. So I'm honored to know you. And congratulations you. on everything you have done and everyone you've inspired. Thank you. Okay, so, um, Indian women are taking over the world. <laughs> Woo, yes! Uh, yes. And today, that this is a celebration of that, the celebration of our inner Kali. And I'm so honored to present a special proclamation from the state of New York for Rita Purna Sen Gupta. And New York State honors her as a virtuoso of the arts, a luminary of South Asian cinema, having starred, as we know, in over 200 films. Wow and produced even more, for which she has earned numerous accolades. And she applies her craft on the small screen 
hosting and starring also in multiple television shows. She's truly, she's tr truly dynamic. Um, no. She also has a distinguished career in the performing arts. She's a master of the master of the written word, and she's written numerous news columns. And she's even in publishing an anthology of her own poems. So this is truly a Renaissance woman. Uh, she has numerous brands, including the finest fashion designers, and many call upon her to sponsor and model their products. In addition to all of this, she has a heart of gold. She is a humanitarian who speaks on social causes, including gender equality, mental wellness, the environment, and she's the loving wife of Sanjay Chakraborty and devoted mother of two beautiful children. She has delighted millions of people around the world. And for all of this, New York State is proud to honor her with this proclamation. I have to say a word. I have, I have witnessed many proclamation awards. This was particularly written by Jennifer, the Stanford graduate, all from her heart. And I have never seen a proclamation so beautifully described, just especially for her. So this is all from the heart, from a very super educated person. This is the future of Indian women in this country. We are all very proud of her. Very proud of her. Good evening, everyone. Um, I am at a loss of words. I don't know what to say. I think the tears are welling up. Such an honor. I'm, I'm so deeply touched. I'm humbled and I don't know what to say. Um, I believe uh, in long years of toil and hardship and so much of uh, diligence, toil, maybe is the result of what I got today. This is amazing. Thank you, um, Dr. Nandi and Mrs. Dr. Nandi, to confer this honor upon me to make this wonderful evening possible, which is absolutely out of the world. I'm so honored and privileged to get this honor from New York State, illustrious people who are who are just doing incredible work and who we look up to. Thank you, Tom, for giving this rare honor. I don't know what to say. I'm just too much, you know, emotional and uh, I can't hold it. Thank you, Jennifer. As you said, that Indian woman is just conquering the world, which is so true and I truly believe in it. You know, it's not about the belief that I try to execute and exercise those things which I believe that we should do and go out there and make a difference. So I'm trying very hard to make the difference. And thank you for all those kind words and, you know, how beautifully you've written it. And you are the power. And as you rightly said, that Dr. Nandi is giving that empowerment to others. And he is the power of the word on the table. I believe truly because when he contacted me and he really wanted to, you know, sort of showcase my work and my, you know, my my identity, I felt that truly that he actually loves Indian heritage, culture, and uh, you know, people who mean um, that way important to him. And uh, I'm very touched to meet you, Mrs. Nandi. You've been such a great personality. You've been here for so long and you've been the true inspiring factor in Dr. Nandi's life, I believe. Every woman has got that. Yes, 
behind every successful man there is a woman and I believe it is a vice versa. And truly I'm very touched today that my husband and my family is present here. So I think he has been there for me, you know, actually struggling um, to see that, you know, that a wife who is so busy in her life, he's actually giving me a lot of support and a lot of encouragement and he's taking, you know, a lot of uh, problems to deal we'll talk with about it. that later. <laughs> <laughs> but I believe that he has been that encouraging factor in my life and thank you. Thank you everyone. Thank you everyone who has come here to, you know, make this moment very special. Thank you Tom. Thank you to your beautiful wife as well who has been there with you <laughs> today to encourage his whole thing. And thank you very much for giving me such a rare honor. I will remember it truly throughout my life.